Track 1.14 Unit 2 Lesson 1 Activity 1 Round Across Into Out of Through Up Down Onto Off Over Track 1.15 Unit 2 Lesson 1 Activity 2 In Picture 3 Is the squirrel running into the tree? Yes, it is. In Picture 10 Is the squirrel running through the log? No. It isn't. It's jumping over the log. Now you. 1. In picture 1, is the squirrel running round the tree? 2. In picture 7, is the squirrel running up the tree? 3. In picture 9, is the squirrel jumping onto the log? 4. In picture 2, is the squirrel running across the road? 5. In picture 5, is the squirrel Jumping over the log. Track 1.16 Unit 2 Lesson 1 Activity 5 Let's go! Let's go into the castle Let's go up the stairs Let's walk through the dining room Castles are cool to explore If you dare Different people, different lives Everyone has a different life Let's go into the city People in the square Let's walk round a museum Cities are cool to explore, if you dare. Different people, different lives. Everyone has a different life. Let's go into a farmyard. Chicks running here and there. Let's all walk across the fields. Farms are cool to explore. Track 1.17 Unit 2 Lesson 2 Activity 3 The Prince and the Pauper Adapted from a story by Mark Twain Once upon a time, there was a prince called Edward. He lived in a castle, but he didn't have any friends. One day, Edward saw a poor boy called Tom. Come into the castle and play with me, he said. What's it like to be a prince? asked Tom. I've got an idea, 
said Edward. The boys decided to swap clothes. You look like me now, said Edward. And you look like me, said Tom. The boys were hungry, so Edward went to find some food. He forgot that he had Tom's clothes on. An angry servant pushed Edward out of the castle. <coughs> Stop! I'm the prince, said Edward. But the servant just laughed. <laughs> Tom waited and waited. Where's Edward? he thought. He walked round the castle. He went up and down the stairs. He walked through the halls and across the huge rooms. But he couldn't find his new friend. Tom was very tired. He returned to Edward's bedroom, got into the huge bed and went to sleep. In the morning, a servant walked through the door. Good morning, Prince Edward, said the servant. Here are your clothes. The clothes were beautiful, but they weren't very comfortable. Where is Edward? thought Tom. Outside the castle, Edward had a terrible night. In the morning, he went back to the castle. Tom was very happy to see him. Prince Edward, said Tom. What? You are Prince Edward? The servant said to Tom. At that moment, the Queen came into the castle. Edward? What are you doing in those old clothes? She asked. Sorry, Mum, apologised Edward. We were playing a game, Your Majesty, said Tom. Everyone was very surprised. Then they all laughed. <laughs> After that, Edward and Tom became very good friends. Track 1.18 Unit 2 Lesson 3 Activity 4 and Jill are jolly giraffes jumping in a huge gym. George and Jill are jolly giraffes jumping in a huge gym. Now say the missing words. George and Jill are jolly giraffes in a huge gym. Jumping. George and Jill are giraffes jumping in a huge gym. Jolly. George and Jill are jolly giraffes jumping. In a huge gym. Jolly giraffes jumping in a huge gym. George and Jill are... Track 1.19 Unit 2 Lesson 3 Activity 5 1. July J. U. L. Y. July. 2. Orange. O. R. A. N. G. E. 
orange. 3. Vegetable. V E G E T A B L E. Vegetable. 4. Jacket. J A C K E T. Jacket. 5. January. J A N U A R Y January six Village V I L L A G E Village Verbs with two with infinitive. He wanted to climb the mountain. But now he needs to run. <coughs> he wanted to climb the mountain. But now he needs to run. Look at my little brother. He's only three and he can tie his shoes already. Wow, that's pretty good. Could you tie your shoes when you started kindergarten? Hmm, no I couldn't. Could you count to a hundred when you started primary school? I can't remember. Could you whistle a tune when you were eight? Yes I could. What about you? I learnt to whistle a tune this year but I could do up my coat when I was only six. It's interesting how we learn things at different times. Track 1.21 Unit 2 Lesson 6 Activity 2 Hello. My name is Baguma. I go to primary school in Uganda. I wear a uniform. It's blue. We've got five lessons every day. There are 32 children in my class. We always stand up when a teacher comes into the classroom and we say, Good morning, sir, or Good morning, madam. We haven't got a computer at my school, but our teacher has a board to write on. We work in groups or as a whole class. After school, there are school clubs. There's football and basketball. I play football. I love my school. Hi, I'm Aiko and I go to school in the countryside near Osaka, a big city in Japan. We don't have to wear a school uniform. We can wear our own clothes to school. 
we've got six lessons every day. Four in the morning and two after lunch. There are 33 children in my class. When a teacher comes into the classroom, we all stand up. There's a computer room at school and we do some of our lessons there. We use the internet to learn about different subjects. We often work in small groups and help each other study. There are lots of after-school clubs, like art, sport, music and games. I go to the art club. My school is fantastic. Track 1.22 Unit 2 Lesson 8 Activity 1 My grandchildren are all very different. Now, Peter, <laughs> he's sport mad. He loves all sports. He's very good at skateboarding. And he loves mountain biking. He just can't sit in a chair for ten minutes. He has to run around and be active. Then there's his sister, Vicky, who's technology mad. She takes her tablet everywhere. And she's got hundreds of apps. She's... A bit like me. I'm technology mad too. She doesn't do any sport, but she likes walking around and taking photos of everything. What about the other side of the family? Well, there's Freddy. Freddy is music mad. He plays the trumpet and listens to music all day on his phone. But his sister, Jane, is very different. She's quiet and she works very hard at school. She's especially interested in science, in the moon and stars and in all plants and wild animals. Track 1.23 Review 1 Activity 2 Run into the forest. Run through the forest. Run out of the forest. Run up the hill. Run down the hill. Run over the river. Run round the village. Climb onto the rock. Jump off the rock. Swim across the lake. Track 1.24 Review 1 Activity 6 Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Mrs Bridge. I saw your grandpa yesterday. I waved to him, but he didn't see me. He was on his bike. Oh, grandpa loves his bike. It's a mountain bike, and every day he rides through the forest and next to the river. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. You all like sport in your family, don't you? Yes, we do. We all enjoy being outside, but we all like different things. My mum and dad both go running every evening next to the lake. But really, I think their favourite sport is tennis. Do they play a lot? Yes, they do. And they're always watching tennis on TV, too. Do you know my aunt? The one that's my dad's sister? Is that the aunt that lives near the beach? Yes. 
Well, she loves water sports. She loves sailing and sea kayaking. But she's best at surfing. She's really fantastic. Does she enter competitions? Yes, she does. And she's won lots of medals. And what about your little sister? What does she do? She loves animals more than sport. She loves them all. Cats, birds, rabbits, but especially horses. And can she ride a horse? Well, she's learning. She goes to horse riding classes at the weekend. She loves it.